Hey, yo, what's the word, y'all? How y'all doing, man? How y'all doing? You know what I'm saying? How y'all doing? Hey, good morning, all right? If it's morning for you, you know what I'm saying? I wanted to hop on here real quick to tell y'all, bro, uh, if I, if y'all could take anything home from uh, with this, man, with this whole video, bro, I want y'all to, to take home the art of loving yourself, all right? Um, now, this shit ain't no, no, no regular-ass, like, easy-ass overnight thing, you know what I'm saying? You really got to take some time out to yourself, bro, and learn who you are in the first place right we gotta we gotta we gotta get this shit we gotta cut this shit at the we gotta start in the mud all right you know what i'm saying we gotta learn who we are and that takes some work man and when i say it takes some work it takes being alone actually more often being alone more often you don't gotta like just spend your whole life alone by yourself but um you know after you because we're so distracted we're very fucking fucking distracted over you know um this hamster wheel as commuter based nine to five as lifestyle, you know. So by the time, by the time we, um, you know, get home and settle down and shit, we really just tired, either too tired to care, right? We're just, we're just, it's just easier on our brains to just, just binge watch some shit or, you know what I'm saying? Do some, sh or just, you know, and some of us got, some of us got kids that we got to tend to as well, you know what I'm saying? So that's a big deal. Um, but dude, if, if it isn't like just five minutes a day, something I had to do too, man. If it isn't just five minutes a day, bro, um, put your phone down. Just get it all, put your phone down, you know, take the TV out, you know what I'm saying? Like turn that shit off and, and, and take a lot of time to yourself, bro. Okay, like take a lot of time and think, you know what I'm saying? A lot of us don't really think a lot. That's why we're so scared of being in here. A lot of us are, are, are terrified of it, you know? Um, so we really gotta like take more time to do that shit, bro. Like, because it's so important. Like it's the reason why most of us, like we're all creators, right? So the reason why most of us work for a creator then have time to even think about creating something in the first place, because we're not given any time to think really. You really think about it. And the time we even are given to think is thinking about exterior things, thinking about work, thinking about other people thinking about other events and shit like that we're not really thinking about ideas you know what i'm saying and beneficial things that are that are bloom us and for the future and shit you know what i'm saying so um it's the reason why we're just stuck in this kind of again this weird ass lifestyle that we all have you know um because we're not giving any time to to ourselves and think ourselves so i promote it man i advocate for that shit bro for real um this shit doesn't take it's not no overnight thing you know what i'm saying self-love isn't an overnight thing bro like there's you have to take time out every day again if it's not like maybe five or ten minutes literally out of the entire day to just put the phone down you know turn the tv off and think you know what i'm saying think about things let your mind race let that shit race if it's gonna do it bro it sounds boring as shit or even terrifying as shit depending on who you are but it's needed just like you do certain things to, to get what you want out here in the external world. You, you got to do certain things in here, bro, to, to live freely, actually freely and and peacefully. Like we're so depressed and, and anxious and just paranoid. And we're just so like we're not in a good mind state. These lower vibrational uh, mind states are killing us, bro. Like I'm telling you, it's because we're afraid to even look in into inner space. You know what I'm saying? To start thinking about things and and letting these things race. So, um, yeah, bro, do that shit more often. Go take walks more. Even if you're you're in a relationship, it's gonna benefit the relationship itself. Trust and fucking believe me. Like because it's when you start learning yourself, you start knowing yourself and shit. You know, you're gonna learn self love. You're gonna start accepting who you are eventually, and then you're gonna start loving that. You know, I I, I love who I am, but it's it's because of the two years of shadow work that I did, you know what I'm saying? It's not like this, uh, oh, that's what I gotta do? Next day, I love the fuck out of myself. Hell no, I'm lying to myself, all right? <laughs> I'm not loving to my, loving myself at all. So um, you really just, you understand that this is a path and this is a um, process just like everything around you is, you know, a process. Do understand this is a process and it's just like working out a muscle at the gym, you know what I'm saying? If you don't use it you lose it you know what i'm saying that's real that's you we don't have a lot of mental management today we don't have a lot of emotional management today you know what i'm saying so because we, we've never been treated we've never been uh teached we've never been shown 
meant, we never been guided properly into mental man management and emotional management. I mean, you know, for real, if anything, we're actually guided into the ass backwards, you know what I'm saying? Like of hating ourselves, you know? And even the people who think they love themselves, they really just love the persona of um, the person who they're projecting to be. Like, let's say you see somebody on TV and you're like, man, they're cool as fuck. I'm gonna start acting like them. Now, you may love, you may, my bad, you may love um, the person you're projecting to everybody else, but when you go home and you just with yourself, like, you don't really love that person. You know what I'm saying? You're really not a, you're not a person who loves yourself. You love the, the projection of who you are, who you want to be, or you love the, um, the personification, you know what I'm saying, of, of yourself, the character, but you, it's like, it's, that's not who you are. It's just an ego based you, you know what I'm saying? And that's really, that's still not who you are. You know what I'm saying? Cause you're basing your ego, your character off of your environment, off of the things that you're, you're exposed to, or you expose yourself to, you know? So, um, know yourself, love yourself. And man, you'll start trusting yourself, man. You'll start honoring yourself, man. Then after all that shit, man, you'll start valuing yourself and when you start valuing yourself you'll start you'll begin to uh, become more self-aware self-awareness man is huge you know what i'm saying it's fucking huge because but a lot of us don't have it because we don't even love ourselves we don't even love ourselves enough to be aware enough like we don't even care to be aware enough of ourselves you know because we don't even know who we are think about it if you don't know who you are if you don't know who somebody is you don't really love them you can't really love anybody you don't really know you know what i'm saying so it's the exact same way with yourself if you don't know yourself, you don't love yourself. You know, you don't even like yourself. You know what I'm saying? With anything, you're going to project a version of you that you like, like a version of your environment that you like, but that's not who you are actually, you know, um, which is okay as long as you know who you are in the first place, you know? And then once you start knowing who you are in the first place, you'll start shaping your actual character, the person you present yourself to in front of people uh, better, you know? You'll start being more self-aware of how you're speaking, um, what you say, why you are, who you are, you know what I'm saying? Like what you are and, and all that shit, bro. And you'll start actually, your ego will start dissolving and turning into something else and, and building into something else. We're very afraid of doing that alone, you know what I'm saying? But that's huge, man. I'm a whole ass another person from just a few years ago. Dude, from fucking six months ago, I'm a whole ass another person. You know what I'm saying? Just from the information I've been building up, you know, and attaining over this little bit of time. And um, I've been doing a lot of oneness. You know, that's why I haven't been really hanging out with a lot of people and shit. But um, yeah, man, um, that's really what it is. You got to put that work in, man. And you'll start having a sharper, easier, um, clearer mindset, you know, of thinking into... Um, the future and knowing what you actually want to do instead of what people are expecting you to do You know what I'm saying because we're really built off of expectations We're not really built off of what we just want to do. You know what I'm saying think about that like the job you probably have is just could be could be based off of The expectations of everybody around you. You know what I'm saying people think more money means more happiness and oh my god It does not you know what I'm saying I, I've been there before you know what I mean like I literally was just there a few years ago just to find out that I'm actually more depressed, man, than I have actually, actually ever, ever been, actually. Like, I've, I've been through a worse time um, having more money, which is insane, you know? Um, but that was just my experience. You know, that's my personal experience. It's not to say for everybody else, you know? But, um, but I had to go through that experience to understand that that's not, I don't amount, that's not what I amount up to, like, to a status, to an exterior, my exterior attainment, you know? I used to think back then um, that money... I used to be try to be very logical like I am today, but I was illogical in another sense of saying, well, money does bring me happiness because I, I can buy something and that'll make me happy. You know that, and I'm like, well, and now I'm thinking about like, well, no, it's still wrong because the moment that whatever you just bought goes away, wears out, breaks or whatever the hell, enough time passes, you're not going to be happy again. Like now you want something else that's going to, cause it doesn't, it no longer satisfies you, you know? So now you want something bigger, something better, something different something this and that right so we don't really find any time i mean we don't even find the actual true peace and happiness within ourselves because once we found that in ourselves we're cool regardless whether we have or have not we're fine 
Like, you know what I'm saying? You'll start finding that these physical, external, materialized attainments are not what you, are not what it's, what it's cracked up to be, really. You know what I'm saying? Like, it's cool to have those things. But it's not cool when you're when you're depending your your entire mental being over these things, because that means it's like if I get a cool ass car, if I go buy a fucking cool ass car and it makes me happy for X amount of time. Once that car, it, something, whatever, say something happens to it. Right. My happiness is now gone because that that material object is gone. So that means I was completely rope and tied to that physical attainment. My happiness was. So, dude, think about that, bro. Think about what do you think is better? Like, I, I want you to, to, to really think about that yourself. Go into inner space and really think about what, what do you think is better? Going out and buying something to make you temporarily happy, a microwave version of being happy, or literally slow roasting your own way, taking five minutes a day and working on being, it's not even about being happy, it's about being at peace, really. You know, happiness is just a temporary emotion, just like sadness and madness and anger. And, and all this shit is, you know, having your peace is forever, though, you know, you, so that means you can be sad, you can be mad, you can be these things, but also have your peace, though, so it, it doesn't, these emotions don't, aren't the things that are guiding you, the, these emotions aren't the thing that are things that are pushing you into um, making re, just reactive in um, impulses, they're just, they're just there, you know what I'm saying, but they're not defining who you are, you know, so, Cause we're we're emotional beings, bro. We're supposed to have emotions. We're, we we can be mad and sad and all this shit, but it not affect us mental on a mental level, you know, um, to where it destroys us mentally. You know what I mean? Because it's like, man, why am I thinking this way? What the fuck? This and that. It's okay, bro. It's all right. Learn peace, though. You know, learn your peace. You can be anything you want to be, bro. I'm telling you. And whatever you have on the outside, ultimately, will never matter. Once you forever have your peace, you can lose whatever. You can lose all kinds of shit. You can be that, that funny ass meme where it's like that that little pu fucking puppy dog just sitting in the middle of a fucking burning house. You're like this is fine. That will literally be you. I'm telling you, this is this is all right. Like whatever. You know what I'm saying? Like, and then I mean, you cannot deny that that is actually a peaceful ass way of thinking about things. Because while you're saying this is fine, this is whatever, it ain't like you're just sitting there and not doing anything. Right. You're it's more of a you're sitting there and you think about your next move. You're more clear, clear minded. You think about your next move of like, um, what am I do? What am I going to do after this? Actually, like, what's what's the next move now? Instead of just frantically panicking and going crazy and letting your, your emotions guide you. You know what I'm saying? You really just let your inner self guide you because you have inner peace, you know. So, man, go ahead and do that, man. It's a long ass video, way fucking longer than I wanted it to be. But, man, with that being said, I love y'all last man. Y'all take it easy, man.